superstars and welcome back to another video this is a meal prep video so i'm starting off with the waffles i use i use the kodiak cake power jack waffles um and i use the turkey sausage links and i make my breakfast you're gonna see me insert a picture to the left of what my breakfast actually looks like sometimes i use the circle sausages sometimes i use the links but this is what it looks like and that's what i have for breakfast moving on i'm going to be showing you what i make for lunch and dinner i'm going to be making eggplant parmesan and i'm also be going to be making some salmon with cauliflower on the side so these are just the ingredients that i use Now on medium high heat, you're going to be adding the sausage that you just got from your package into some olive oil. You're going to just chop that up and then you're going to also add in your ground turkey and you're going to chop that up as well and let that brown. And then you're going to add in your green, diced green peppers and your onions and you're going to also add in all of your seasonings. And I'm going to list all of this in the description box as well. So after you cook your meat, you're going to want to drain the excess oil because look at that. Ugh, all of that excess oil is unnecessary. You must drain it. So now what I'm doing is I'm cutting the eggplant into circles so I can line it up. And that's what's going to make your lasagna layers. So you're just going to cut it into circles holding the eggplant, I guess, vertically. No, diagonal. No, oh my gosh. That's horizontal. Guys. It's like 10 p.m. and I'm doing this voiceover. Horizontally, cut this horizontally into circles and you're gonna see me go back here in a minute and I'm just gonna thin out some of the thicker ones just so that I have enough pieces to make my lasagna layers. After you cut them, you want to sort them out into the large, medium, and small pieces because you're going to line up your largest pieces on the bottom first of your baking pan. And I drizzled some olive oil on the bottom just so it doesn't stick. But you're going to do eggplant, meat, sauce, cheese. Eggplant, meat, sauce, cheese. Eggplant, meat, sauce, cheese. And you're just going to keep that pattern. And it's okay that not all of the bottom was covered in eggplant. You're going to see how it turns out at the end. But just watch the video.
see I use like two different types of sauce, three different types of cheese. You can use whatever cheese that you feel is fit. Get fancy guys, use your favorite marinara. And this was the end product after baking in the oven for about 20 minutes or so. Um, so this is how it came out. And basically it's just phenomenal. It's honestly the best lasagna I've ever had and it's so healthy. Give it a try and let me know what you think in the comments below. Moving on to dinner, this is some salmon that I paper towel dried. I'm going to be using soy sauce, honey, and balsamic vinegar, and I'm gonna mix that and add it to half of the salmons. And then on the other half, I'm gonna be doing salt, lemon pepper seasoning, and also black pepper on the other half, just to have some variety during my week. I'm going to be mixing the three ingredients first in a bowl, and then I'm going to let that marinate on half of the salmons while I do the other half, and then set it aside for about 10 minutes or so before I add it into my um, air fryer. Here I'm just sprinkling some salt on that mixture just because I want it to have adequate flavor. So after preheating my air fryer, I'm just going to go ahead and lay my salmons flat on the surface and I'm going to drizzle a little bit of olive oil on the top, just a little bit, just so that it doesn't get too dry. You know what I mean? Just a little dry. Salmon can get dry. Um, so the fish on the air fryer takes about 10 to 13 minutes. I think I set it to 13 and then I flip it halfway through. So this is how the dinner ended up looking. It did look a little dry on camera, but it was flavorful. But I did go ahead and add some cheese just to give it a little bit of moisture, a little bit of color on camera. Um, so this is how the dinner turned out and it was phenomenal. And this is meal prep Sunday, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and share. Let me know what you think in the comments. Bye.